And we begin tonight with the emergency evacuations underway right now. 100,000 people on the move. The wildfires exploding, at least eight burning now across California, two near Los Angeles. They have turned deadly. The Saddle Ridge Fire in the San Fernando Valley bursting across more than 7,500 acres. Fire officials calling it tonight a major emergency. Flames destroying about 800 acres per hour. Dozens of homes have already been burned to the ground, many fleeing through those tunnels of fire. The escape routes filled with blinding smoke and flames and strong winds gusting up to 60 miles per hour, of course, fueling the fires. ABC's chief national correspondent Matt Gutman is on the scene. He leads us off tonight. Tonight, Los Angeles communities caught in a whirlwind of fire. The Saddle Ridge fire exploding overnight. More than a thousand firefighters from multiple departments in an all out battle against apocalyptic flames, fueled by those howling Santa Ana winds. The wind is so powerful up here, it is just generating this massive firestorm. Take a look at the inferno down there. We've watched hundreds of acres burn. About 100,000 people ordered to evacuate, many driving through tunnels of fire. But I can't even see. Yeah, let's get the hell out of here. Fire crews scrambling to save homes and spread thin. They're standing guard right at this basketball court, the last line of defense before this house. Firefighters using saws to hack into gated properties. Is that your house? Hail Mary, full of grace. This woman, suitcase packed on her knees, praying firefighters can save her home. Those staying behind using anything, even garden hoses, to fight the fire. Authorities saying one man died as a result of this fire, suffering cardiac arrest. By sunrise, the fire scorching more than seven square miles. Helicopters and air tankers in a full out assault. That's 11,600 gallons of retardant, and when the fire line hits that, it just stops. Residents now comforting one another, some losing everything. And east of San Bernardino, the Sandalwood Fire incinerating dozens of structures in hours. Sounds like a machine gun is going off in there. Those pops? That's ammunition inside the house popping off. That fire apparently caused by burning trash from this garbage truck. The trash load was dumped off to the side of the road, ignited the vegetation. At least one person there did not survive. So let's get to Matt Gutman. He's live tonight, and we know the winds have been driving the fires, Matt, all day long, gusting more than 60 miles per hour at some points. Uh, and there's still red flag warnings in place as we go into the night. Yeah, the wind has really been the story here, David. And those red flag warnings expected to persist through the night and tomorrow night. And with gusts of 30 miles an hour, you can still feel it. Those fires are going to be kept alive. Now, it was embers from across that valley you just saw that ignited this house, incinerating it in just minutes. All that's left is this chimney, and the owners told me they only had time to get out with their passports and their lives. David. Uh, we're thinking about all those families tonight. Matt Gutman, thank you. And as Matt mentioned, those red flag warnings are being extended in California through tomorrow night now. Also tonight, we're following that blizzard warning in the middle of the country. This is Interstate 29 in Fargo, North Dakota, and we're tracking a nor'easter right off the East Coast. Meteorologist Rob Marciano tracking it all for us. Hey, Rob. Hi, David. That cold front of that blizzard is slicing through Louisiana right now. We're getting the thunderstorms. It's in, in part creating those Santa Ana winds, which are going to create another rough night for firefighters tonight. Critical fire danger and extreme fire danger from inside of Ventura all the way down to San Diego, improving somewhat tomorrow, but there's going to be pockets of really bad stuff. Uh, blizzard warning still up for parts of the upper Midwest, that low spinning into Canada, but the cold front slicing through. We're looking at freeze warnings tomorrow morning. Wind chills are going to be in the 20s from Chicago back through Oklahoma City. And there's that nor'easter. Now a subtropical storm, Melissa and we'll continue to slam the, south, the southeast coast of New England. We're lightning here. we got to get going, David. Back to you. All right, Rob Marciano, get back inside. Rob, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.